Welcome. Hello, hello. I Music. actually have to, to mute your stream. One second. Uh, that's uh, fine. Hello, forgetful Finch. Hello, calm. Hello, uh, coma. I believe coma. Yes. Hello, coma. How's it going? First time being here. Set up alone. Looks very comfortable and relaxing. I'm excited. Hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, just as a just as a general reminder, uh, my name is Waba, and this is the Mental Health Talk Place in Queer Safe Space. This is the Waba Fam, and we're a cozy, chaotic stream that does a lot of variety. We do Mental Health Mondays as well, but today we're doing streamer interviews. Um, we have these six lovely streamers today. We're going to have more streamers in the coming weeks, uh, and basically it's just one question, which is how has streaming and content creation affected your mental health and vice versa. How has your mental health affected content creation? That transition caught me very off guard. Aw. <laughs> uh, music. My God. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, that, um, that transition was golden. I, I love that. <laughs> give you deals on the food you love. <laughs> Come to that flying guy where you get deals on the food you love. Wiping the sweat from my forehead. Also, thank you for the follow as well, Coma. Welcome into the Waba fam. Uh, my alerts are muted right now, and I have sound alerts as well, also muted, uh, just because of the fact that hate raids are a thing that might happen today, but you know, we'll see. Can you put your uh, camera on, Fly? Uh, yes, I was going to ask about that. I've never actually been interviewed on here, so this is kind of a new experience for me. Okay, here we go. I'm insanely nervous. It'll be fine. So, this is if a rather fly kind of guy. Uh, how would you like to like me to call you? Fly, you, guy, you, rather? You can call uh, me either Jake or Arthur. Jake. Jake or Arthur. Well, I never yeah. pronounce author right, because I say it author, and then author, then Arthur. Well, I'm that's fine, because, you know, it's spelled with an E instead of a U anyway, so it's not even pronounced right to begin with. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Jake. It's a long story, but we'll Jake. talk about it another time. Is it Jake yes? from State Farm? Uh, no, I am wearing pants today. I was about to ears. say, what are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? But they're not khakis. I, uh, I usually don't wear pants when I stream, so. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so, <laughs> hello. Hello, how are you? This Good. Is, I'm, I'm fun. This is like my third time being in your stream, and. Oh, shit. I, I've noticed you have a lot of moving parts on your stream, and my eyes are just like, parts. like which one do I look at? It's Ooh. it's different. I've never seen something like it. So. I can, uh, yeah, I know. There's a lot going on. I mean, come on. I mean, for fuck's sake, like, come catch Waba Live. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. Like the transition alone just says it all. No, I love that the Pornhub like thing, and it's Waba streams. That isn't They're here like, normally. Salute. I'm part of the that. Underworld charity. That's my friggin' like, uh, you know, Instagram. I'm Waba streams everywhere. Dono daily sub goal, monthly sub goal. We do stream raiders. Uh, these are all all the sub badges on a slideshow. Those are all the emotes on a slideshow. We have a pride flag. We have my Waba fam cats. I mean, we look on my like game scene. It's all this, and then the game's just there. And then sometimes stream raiders in the t bottom left corner. I got a lot going on. I know I do, but it's fine. We chillin'. <laughs> you have a seven second latency, so it's a little- it's Seven a little isn't slow. too bad, it's usually seven, five. Seven is great, actually. Seven, anywhere between uh, four to seven is what you usually want. If you can get down to nothing, then I don't know what NASA super internet you're on, but like, I've been in a no latency stream this before, is, and they're insane. This is not super internet. Yeah. Also, I do want to apologize. Um, if there's any, normally you only get to see like this much of me. So to everybody seeing all the extra <gasps> shit behind the scene. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, you don't, you don't get oh, to see shit. like a crazy amount. Yo, revealed, revealed. Oh yes. It's, Tank reveal. It's just, you can, you can almost see one of my turtles. You can see them right there. <gasps> you have turtles? I have three. Would you like me to show you them? I kind of do. <laughs> Come on buddies. Hello buddies. So I, can I really didn't know we had turtle, turtles. Uh, this is great. One of them does not like being handled. Okay. Uh, let me put my headphones back on. Oh God, hold this on. This one. On. Oh. I'm just gonna. This one is Rocket. Oh, hello, Rocket. Hello, Waba. Oh. <laughs> Rocket loves hello. attention. 
He loves being handled, and uh, he has, we actually have leashes for the turtles. Um, leashes for the turtles? I don't know where they are. Oh, I see them. Um, they're hanging on the gun safe over there. Um, but they, uh, they, they, they love going for walks. They go for walks. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then here, you make sure, by the way, to always pick your turtles up from the bottom. Don't grab the top of their shell. This is uh, good turtle facts. Yeah, we're supposed to be talking about like mental health, and here I am talking about yeah, mental turtles. health or something. I don't know. Turtles. Turtles are good for mental. health. Turtles are mental health. <laughs> Yes, they, this is mental health related, really, because that's this their is, spine. Yes, it is. This is Bullet. He likes to dig. Bullet. <laughs> mm -hmm. He uh, tries to dig into surfaces that can't normally be dug into, like oh, air. Oh, look at him. He wants to go. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bullet. He was currently digging. And then, Ashton, are you up for it today? Are you going to stay out of your shell when I touch you? You don't want to stress out your pets. This is Bastion. He, um... Yeah, don't stress them out. He was attacked and uh, has Aww. a uh, has a pretty broken Ooh. shell, but he's always watching. Hence the name. Aw. He Bastion. will not break eye contact. Hey, he, he blinked first. You. He blinked first. I win. He winked at yeah. He looks the lava. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry to derail it really bad. Oh no no, my... you're you're in the right stream. We derail shit all the time. I was about to say, tying it back into mental health, as you might figure out, um, railroading is what we do. Uh, because one of the things that I actually want to talk about on the yes. stream yes. is ADHD. Shit, you have notes? Oh, crap. Um, we have a prepared was, streamer, kids. I was insanely nervous, and I usually pre uh, prepare stuff uh, before a lot of uh, my streams. Can I, can I it, throw a wrench in your plans real quick, though? What's up? Okay, can you, first of all, please tell us about yourself, your stream, your content, who you, you are. Know, I didn't even, that didn't even occur to me. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm Jake. Uh, I'm a professional loud person. Uh, I yell a lot and I'm pretty vulgar and brash at times. I'm uh, fully willing to admit it. But despite this sort of like, I guess crass nature that my streams have were actually um were actually really welcoming or at least i try to be as welcoming as i can what <laughs> calm is messaging me jake you can do it i believe in you thank you calm oh my god thank you um hey kevin Krabs, thanks for the follow <laughs> welcome in legends one of my moderators oh kevin. my god he's one of the admins and then i see nick joined as well yo welcome but in. um but uh we're we're very like kind of like in your face and stuff mm -hmm. and that's because i like to consider my streams more as just a bunch of friends hanging out i feel these same. aren't, these aren't my viewers these are my friends i hang out with them in the discord this is my family hanging... yeah and um thank you for we, follow we, we stick up for each other it's it's really great because one of the things that i think that i can kind of bring to this whole mental health uh, ordeal mm -hmm. is that you know support doesn't always have to come in the form of like direct like you know so direct and straightforward oh i agree fully we uh i i'm <laughs> people in my um community have told me that i'm an ally which mm -hmm. uh after googling thank you um because it's kind of crazy uh, mm -hmm. I didn't know that trans people were a thing until about five years ago. Like, at all. What state do you live in? I live in Georgia. Yeah, that um, doesn't surprise me at all. You live in Georgia. Yeah, but also, it's more of just because of my upbringing. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of just didn't have a lot of friends growing up, and I spent a majority of my life in the hospital. Yeah, So, what, I never really got to... Uh, I'll, I don't... Uh, you don't have to go into it. I'm not going to force no, you. I, I can, but it's it's not a fun story for streams. And if anybody knows, they know. Uh, <laughs> we're but not like, exactly positive vibes only here. We're where you need to be at vibes. I got you. Uh, if anything, I prefer to go into that later. Sure, uh, no, no problem, no problem, later. But um, but I'm kind of just generally of that mindset that's like mm -hmm. you can people can do what they want and. Yeah. 
and that's fine. If they're not hurting want, anyone. <laughs> they're just trying to exist trans, in other lives. <laughs> or you believe that you are trans, or you just are trans. You it, are trans, cool, usually. Whatever. That's how it goes. Yeah, like, I don't understand it. I'm going to be honest, I really don't. But that's at the fun. same time, just because I don't understand it doesn't mean that I'm opposed to it. Right. It means you can it respect it. Me. Exactly. it doesn't affect me. Exactly. It's kind of like, uh, I'm loud and obnoxious, sure. but I'm hopefully not hurting anybody. <laughs> So if they want, if you want to identify as something else, that's not really hurting me. Why should I, Absolutely. why should it, you know? Absolutely. It's just all like a kind of new thing to me. Everyone is DMing me right now, telling me that I'm doing great. Oh, that's so wholesome. I, I love my community. I love you guys so much. They're, they're like, yes. not the most verbally supportive. So this is like, so new like getting all these like you're doing great and stuff messages Aww. but they're they're like supportive with action they're like action speak louder than words sort of deal and Absolutely. that's what i like about i agree you know i agree with that they're they're like they're not like yes men who are like oh my god everything that you do is perfect they they support no. me with their actions and hell yeah support with actions like, and be responsible and take i feel like i've gone off on a huge tangent no basically, you're fine basically we uh Mondays we return to Monkey and chimp out uh, on Balloons Tower Defense, or we do Monster Hunter. Um, Tuesdays is always for art. I draw. Um, you draw, draw too. That's and awesome. create. I uh, I do That's props amazing. sometimes. Ooh, props! Uh, like, Hell yeah. And um, but uh. But then uh, Wednesday, Thursday is game day, and that's basically it. I started streaming as a joke. Uh, oh and I just gosh. made fun of other Twitch streamers three years ago. Uh, I actually started on YouTube uh, for two streams, then went to Twitch, made fun of a lot of people, and then uh, three years later, I'm still I'm still going with it, and I'm kind of doing my own thing now, and it feels great. Hell yeah! I'm glad you're doing your own thing now. Mm. I mean, I used to be an asshole, like like really. I'm mm -hmm. I'm gonna play it really blunt. I used to just be like a complete asshole, and I'm like. But you're not I, so much I, an asshole anymore. I, I hope that I'm not. <laughs> if anything, I'm more of just like, I make mistakes and try to fix them, simulator. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I've gone off on this huge tangent, which is uh, you're fine. new. Uh, I literally uh, asked you who you are and what you're about, and I I think we've <laughs> we've covered our bases there. I'm I'm about entertaining everybody, all right? And I feel that. My, my entertainment is very much not for everybody. There are many yes. people who just will not like it yeah. because it is in your face. Mm. Um, I agree. And that's okay, though. You know? But yeah, that's the thing is that I, I don't I, have to be liked by everybody. Mm -hmm. I think I'm it's me. exactly. You're the best thing for you. And you're going to find your people. And I'm going to find my people. And that's just how it goes. Like, I'm we're cozy, but we get very chaotic and very, like, fucking chat gets horny sometimes as well it's wild oh, oh my it's god hilarious like, uh, oh do you, do you mind uh i i it. have some mouse pads that like <laughs> as long as it doesn't break tos go for it. it it doesn't and that's the best part about it anybody who knows uh who knows me, I, yeah they know what they know what i'm doing i right? know the I, entire i'll show the bunny girl one i won't show the i won't show the booba one but like why won't you show the booba one we're all about booba. Oh, you want the booba one Yes. All right, I'll show the boob one. So Fucking... the joke here is that the character is flat, so it's not one of those hermetically sealed mouse pads. Or hermetic, like, boob oh, mouse no. pads, you know? So, I drew the, I... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's what's up. I have, we're, we're a community of weirdos, and that's the way... Uh, I love it. Uh, I like it. And I wish that's my camera way. would focus uh -huh, on my uh -huh, face. It's not I used like to it. I like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I no, I have, I have merch as like a joke, by the way. I, I don't try to make money on Twitch at all. I just like having merch. It's so much fun. Like, <laughs> seriously, great. I recommend it for every streamer. If you can do merch, just like, just, just, just do it. It's so funny. It's hilarious. I um, had merch and then my merch store got taken down. <laughs> oh man, uh, they've they've uh, they've had to tell me not to post certain pictures for things, but like, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that had a very different version of it. Listen, by the way. Um, I I know, I, yeah. yeah. Listen, we stand sex workers here, and we stand horny <laughs> chat. We're, we're we're chill. We're fine. But horny yeah, horny chat, is best chat. Educational horny, horny chat. chat, of course. 
it's like funny. Ninety percent of our jokes are all around cum in some oh way, shape, God. or form. Like, it's, it like writes itself. I'm dying. But um, I do kind of want to transition it a little into streaming. I know that you're the interview here, but uh, I'm taking over. I am now Waba. Uh, oh no, that's... everybody! This has been a uh, switcheroo. Uh, no, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, but um. I told you that I started streaming three years ago, and it's actually been a lot yes. more than that. Been like, <laughs> just, I just saw you did the thing. All right, I'm sorry. Um, but when I started streaming, uh, I didn't have the support that I have now. I had IRL friends who told me to uh, stop trying to stream, Jake. You're wasting your time. And mm -hmm. those are the sort of people that I grew up with. I was kind of an asshole. I would routinely be an asshole to people because I thought it was funny uh, on Steam, or on stream, and also on Steam, I did that too. Um, but like, I kind of realized that that's not who I really am. I actually do really care about people like a lot. So I, I just wanted friends. That was really it. I started streaming as a joke and then it turned into, I just want friends who will support me because my IRL friends, like a few of them that still stick around are really supportive but they don't watch my streams. They're just supportive of me. They, yeah. they they don't like my content, but they like me and that's fine. You don't have to enjoy my content. I mean, that's your core. That's gotta be your core community, man. That's how it works. Is you yeah. get people that like you for you. Yeah, and like, that's kind of the thing is that like a few of these friends aren't even in the community, but again, they support me as I do. I just, but starting off wasn't like that. Right. And I'm going to tell everybody out there, if any of you are like, hey guys, uh, I want to start streaming, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. Um, mm. Don't. It's uh, <laughs> one of the worst and best <sighs> things that you can do. Hmm. So if you're really going to do it, go against what I'm saying. Yeah. And that'll be enough to prove that you can do it. Because you're already willing to go, no Jake, screw you, I'm going to do it anyway. And that's sort of like what it takes yeah, because so many people it, are going to tell you not to. So many I, people are going to be like, yeah, no. I think my best advice for if anyone wants to start streaming is know your why and then you're unstoppable. Mm -hmm. um, my wow. why is I want to spread mental health, wellness, education and continue to have open discussions of mental health always like it is a mental health, open talk space and queer safe space. That's my tagline every single time. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's what we want to do. <laughs> and occasionally yeah. with that comes chaos. <laughs> so it's great. I just, um, I just want to make friends and have those friends be hell friends. Yeah. It's hell yeah. That's simple. I mean, I do I do want to make this full time, but like we call it the Waba fam for a reason. Like it is a family of love and fucking support. And we don't mean um, monetary, you know, just I, um, it's great. Man, I commend you for do, wanting to do full time. I can do that. Um, Thank you. And I'm not is, I'm not at that I'm not at that level yet, but I want to be. And this is where I'm gonna uh, seamless segue into what I was saying. Mm -hmm. Paranoia was the first thing uh, that mm. I really struggled with with streaming, actually. Okay. Because when you know the individuals that watch your streams and mm. you you want them to be your friend, it, it hurts when they stop showing up. Because Ooh, a lot of people yeah. out there are just looking for a streamer for an afternoon of fun. Right. And they might be around for a month and then they won't be anymore. And when you take a lot of time to like get these connections with people, it, it hurts. It, it really fucking hurts when like people yeah. stop showing up and you're just kind of like, ah oh, shit, but man, I miss these people now. But at the same time, I think that just through sheer volume by ac or, uh, accuracy by volume, I've managed to find individuals who I hope at least won't leave i've had people tell me they're like look even if you stop streaming Jake, i'm always gonna support you and let you do and just to have somebody even say that to you is huge because i encounter a lot of people who like to say things like man i love your streams they cured my depression and then i'm like bro we haven't spoken in like a month what do you want you know the sort of fake mm. like the sort of the sort of like they only support you when they want something from you and it's led to this weird like sort of paranoia where i i see people nowadays and i've wondered like initially like okay what do they want 
and that's not a very healthy thing. No, it, it's, it's not a healthy mindset, not. unfortunately. And, and I imagine um, it, it, I'm sorry, okay. I, I kind of want to comment it on this a little bit, because like, it, it's really interesting, because like, you know, definitely when, when you have friends, when it's someone that you know, and all of a sudden they stop showing up, then it's like, oh shit, do they hate me now? Like, what did I do exactly. to deserve this? Like, And that's like, where the paranoia kicks in. Yeah. Uh, and every day, even today, I wake up and I'm like, well, not today because I don't stream on Fridays, but like, I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, are people going to tune in? Have they forgotten about me? As this, as mm. that, as that. And it's only now, after three years, gotten to the point where I'm like, no, you know what? I know for a fact that like a minimum of like 10 people are going to be there today and they're going to have fun because we're going to have fun. And that's that, amazing. That's enough. And, and to be there is amazing. It's so cool. It's it's so great to just have that sort of support behind you. And, um, but at the same time, uh, about like two months ago, mm -hmm. I was being just attacked on Instagram because I pissed somebody off. Someone mm -hmm. joins the Discord named Jake only cares about the numbers. Named Jake, kill yourself. Named Jake, like, Jake is a liar. And stuff like that, because I clearly did somebody wrong. Maybe I said that I would help them out or something like that, and then I just didn't hold up to their standard I, I don't know what i did yeah and they they never came you know what me. can i tell you what you did because i know what you did um i guarantee you that this person is someone who falls into the trap of follow for follow and support for support yeah, which no. is which is to say you know they think that like oh by you saying well you know i'll support you in your journey that means that you're going to show up for every single one of their streams forever for the rest of the whole time and, and you're not I a real person to, and you don't have your own fucking life and shit going on it's so funny. i used to think like that yeah i used to think like that too you know? for a little bit and then i stopped and cut the crap after like a also, month or two i live by i live by a little motto for myself that is i support those who support me and that's different than support for support if Let's say uh, I'm going to take a random member sure. of the audience here. Let's say that uh, Violet the Ghost, she's actually one of our Twitch moderators. Yeah. And she's there all the time. It's awesome. If she were to come forth and be like, hey, Jake, I need your help with something. Can you please support me with this? You know what, Violet? You've been in there. You've helped me out. You've been a part of my community and you're one of my good friends. Of course I will. Just, yeah, I'll try. I'll but try it, my best to help you out. It's not the sort of thing where someone comes in and is like, look, if I support you, will you support me? No, yeah. you have to earn that. It's weird. It's weird. People feel obli feel obligated to your time and to your money and to your everything, and it's so fucking stupid. And that's why I'm so anti support for support and anti follow oh, for follow that. because oh, because I'm literally I'm literally just like listen. I want if if someone's going to interact with me and my community, I want it to be genuine. I don't want people to give me money, give me views, give me whatever the fuck ever because they think they're going to gain something from me because you're really not you know what i hope to gain today from you so far in like the 25 minutes i've gotten to know you so far i want to be friends you seem so fucking cool you got turtles okay well now I, you're just lying to I, me about me i'm being not cool. lying to you about me being cool am i cool no, yeah. i gotta get the, the glasses I, on i think you're great man i think you're great you're <laughs> It's very clearly of ADHD. I'll say that because you're talking up a storm, but I love it because this is exactly what I want. I actually haven't even asked the question. The, the, the I haven't even asked the stream title question of how has mental health affected your your content creation and vice versa. But like you're still answering it, which is amazing, and we love that. Also, Kevin, I did already. Show well, he the showed turtles. the turtles. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we have. So it's here. like in my nature to read chat. Like we'll be in voice chat, and we have a section yes. in the Discord for people who just don't feel comfortable like talking, or maybe they don't want to. Yeah. And it's like being on like its own little stream of it. Like, it's in my oh, blood. Yeah. I I love streaming, and I never thought that I would be a streamer because at the end of the day, it's bizarre to think that that's what I am right now. I study cybersecurity. I study ethical hacking and penetration testing. I'm I I'm licensed in white hat hacking, but like. Uh, are you? Yes, actually. <laughs> Do you take commissions? Uh, that's not how that works. <laughs> I know. Shush. I have to be. I have to be licensed by like company, and then we have to go through the state and everything, and it's so complicated. I haven't even actually done it yet, um, because I'm going for my gray hat, which is. Um, I got. I mean, I got one for you if you're looking to test yourself. <laughs> maybe actually, because one of the things I'm really scared about is that this is my last semester. And uh, I'm not fucking ready, man. Like at all. You got this. You got <laughs> no this. No, no um, 
I'm actually referring to the fact that there's been hate raids lately. Yeah, I, mean, I assume. Yeah. I assume. And it's literally um, that. Yeah, I. Because uh, I, I was thinking, like, man, the only that. thing that would take this down would be like ethical hacker. Uh, I I actually have a little story about that one. Um, yeah. And uh, I was watching a man uh, play For Honor, and for the sake of clarity, because it is important to the story. Was it Franklin Turtz? Uh, yeah, no, uh, it wasn't, um, <sighs> because this individual was African American. Sure. Yeah. And that is important to the story. All right. Because I watched as he got a 600 man raid and you could see the excitement on his face. The biggest That's raid awesome. I've ever gotten was from Franklin Turns. Hey. Okay. I don't get raided. People don't raid me. Like, like we get like a raid every two weeks and it's awesome. And I always check out people who raid me always because like, Amazing. because I, I, I want to, I want to like, you know, cause yeah. I want people to raid. I get that. But, um, but uh i watched as his face slowly turned to tears as the n-word was just blasted in every format Bruh. that you could spell in his chat and he Bruh. i mean you can't ban that many people he just ended the stream and i was just like oh my god wow holy shit and i didn't i i wasn't even following this guy at this point like, i i i i never like instant follow i always check people out and it could be like a week of watching your streams before i even like follow you but right. like but like it was just so bizarre and i was like wow fuck that yeah so like i've seen it i've seen what they can do i yeah um, it's incredibly fucked um the, the thing is i we we've never been a victim of it because when, not going when, to be. when normal bots come into the chat and yeah. tell me to buy followers, we all uh, tell them to go fuck themselves uh, in oh. a slew of profanity. So, oh like, man, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I laugh. I'm like, oh man, let's go. Wub is going to become famous. <laughs> let's yeah, go. yeah. If, if, if someone wants to send a hate raid to us, like. Oh, we're gonna get. I, I've, I've told. I think I've told my guest. I told my guests in, in the Twitter message that I'm fairly certain I'm gonna get hate raided this weekend, uh, because cool, they're targeting which, specifically like, LGBTQ plus tag. Cool. We'll fight back. Like, oh, I'll laugh. I want to laugh. Like, <laughs> like, that's great. Something really uh, fun you can do uh, with uh, hate raids and stuff yeah. um, is I've... Uh, is that uh, you can tell them that they're insecure. They are insecure. Uh, in fact, in fact, there's nothing. There's nothing off the table. Uh, with people like that, because I, I believe in bullying, but only bully the bullies, you know, like yep, if, bully, bullies. If, yeah, if someone wants to come in and be a piece of shit, they're going to get treated like a piece of shit. Like, yeah, I, that, that might not be like the, the stance that, you know, Leo. might be like really familiar in here. Leo's because right, like, though. It's not. Like, yeah. And it's that's kind of what I want to bring is that there is a yeah. more brash side to supporting people and stuff it's it's not yeah. all just just so if you ever feel like there are people out there that you might not think are supportive of the struggles that you're going through and stuff just because they don't show it they don't wear it on them and stuff you never know because i i like to i like to support people and their right to be and do what they want absolutely as long as it's not harming anyone yeah literally literally that's uh, that's exactly same here it's just my my fucking what i live words to live by it's just like as long as you're not harming anyone live your fucking life no one should stop you from living your life you know um yeah trolls are the fucking funniest thing and leo has it right as well as that sometimes they'll ban someone and i'll be like and i'll be like oh i want to have fun with them like mr butlicka mr butlicka <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Our our moderator is great. Are really good. His name was literally about, his. Like, okay, so his name was, it was his name started with like, a a very obscure slur, for 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 butt, but it was like it was like a homophobic slur for butt, and it wasn't one I've ever seen before. I know, and I didn't you wouldn't know, know it either. A homophobic slur for butt. Yeah, there's there's a homophobic slur for butt, um, <laughs> but 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 his last name was Liquor, and I'm like, oh, Mr. Butt Liquor. <laughs> He was one of the boys. You got ass. I actually don't even know if he's banned. I I, I truly oh. don't think he's banned. I think he was just timed out, so he can come back. Mr. Uh, we, yeah, sh we should Mr. probably Butler go play words on stream there. sometime. He'll come back. So um, <laughs> no, it was not bussy. Bussy is not a slur. This is what I got. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're about thirty minutes in. I think you should finally ask me that question. <laughs> oh no, that's that's far <laughs> too easy. 
<laughs> well then allow me to tell you a few things. Like I was saying at the beginning, I have ADHD among a few other things. What else do you have? Well, I'm autistic. Yo, what the fuck? Same. Look at my list of things. I there you to go. Know, by the way, that uh, the first time I came in here, I thought exclamation MH was for Monster Hunter. I thought I was like, oh, he shoots <laughs> Monster Hunter. And then I and then I typed in and I was like, oops, dying. Oh, that's not Monster Hunter. Yeah, but, uh, um, half my mods are <laughs> are Leo and Jeffrey are also autistic. And but the other thing that I have that Leo's I don't tell ADHD. people. Yeah. The other thing I have, and I don't tell people this, is that I have damage to the prefrontal cortex of my brain. Oh, shit. It's, for those of you who have been in my streams and you've see, seen me stammer over a word over and over again, or you've seen me, like, I don't know, spam click, or, like, my hand lock up, or just my body lock up, or and I just, I just do this, and I, like, go off camera for a second, that's what's up. Um, it leads to all sorts of nervous issues and problems controlling my body. I'm incredibly, incredibly thankful that I have most control of my body. Uh, there's only that's one wild. of the people from my community that's met me in real life. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, two now. Um, but they would know I have a very crooked walk just from mm. the constant function of putting one leg in front of the other. And that is like that. At one point, that was something I couldn't do. Um, but I, we'll talk about that later because I do want to get into ADHD. Yeah, yeah I do want, I was actually, that was literally my next question. It's like, how has ADHD affected your content creation for better or for worse? It's improved it. A it lot of people it. think that, yeah. um, that like mental illness, and I am going to say illness, uh, for this one, uh, That's is fine. entirely like a negative thing. I, I disagree. I, I strongly disagree. I think that it's like the same thing as just being an eccentric person or not. Because when I'm on stream... And that's what they used to call it. <laughs> one of the things is I can release the fucking safety harness mm -hmm. and just go wild. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's an insane outlet. It, it's crazy. And uh, I grew up in a time where it was, uh, are you a girl? No, we don't care about your mental health, like, health issues at all. Pretty okay. much. Yeah. And like, it, it, was, it was basically just like, if you were a guy, you didn't get treated. You had to deal with it. If you yep. were a girl, you got treated. Um... And, uh, so I really struggled with, uh, ADHD for a while, which was weird because I often found autism actually easier to deal with since I didn't have to interact with many people. I could just generally be weird. I like, right. I didn't have to worry about like the interactions and stuff, uh, and, and how people would perceive me, but ADHD fucked with my studies. Mm -hmm. On the bright side, I learned how to draw. Hell yeah. On the downside, I, I, I could not focus. I could not take notes or anything like that. And I've since worked through it. Mm -hmm. um, and it might not be the case with everybody, but I do personally believe that mental illness, mental illness is something that can be overcome or over, not overcome, overcame. Like, and maybe not entirely, mm -hmm. but I do think that if you put forth, like, like if you really want to, you know. Mm -hmm. And of course, I don't know shit about mental health, so take that with a grain of salt, mm. because I'm I'm generally pretty dumb. But I do think that things like like ADHD is something yeah. that I could, if I could, I could personally like work through it. Maybe it's more severe in other people, mm -hmm. but I still feel Absolutely. it. And. And I've met a lot of people. I, uh, I went to a um, school for special needs students um, while I was in physical rehabilitation. And I met a lot of people and it was very obvious the ones who were using their mm -hmm. mental health as an excuse to get away with things and the ones who wanted to improve. Mm -hmm. Like, I knew a guy named Sam and I'm not going to say his last name on stream because I don't do last names. Um, I wouldn't, yep. Uh, and he had cerebral palsy mm -hmm. and uh, he's now a computer science major. That's awesome. With cerebral palsy. Yeah, so yeah, he, he didn't fuck around. He, he got shit done. I don't know like, if I don't know if you read my intro before and in like the big chat message, but I have a master's in mental health counseling. So I know a little bit about mental health. I'd like to say I'm not licensed, but, you know, I could get my yeah, license. I, I, don't know, I don't know shit about it. I just <laughs> so like, I know a lot. Um, and, and I think I think what you're saying is mo mostly pretty much true. It's just like, you know, mental health doesn't have to be de debilitating for everyone. Mm -hmm. Um, some people can kind of work with what they have and find ways to, you know, have positive outlook, outlook, outlets 
to what's going on in their head, you know, and find those ways to express themselves best and find environments that let them be their most authentic self. Um, you know, for someone with autism, because there's all sorts of types of what autism looks like for a person, you know, socializing can be very hard in person, but online it becomes super easy. Like I find socializing through Twitch much, much easier for myself because I control the flow of conversation. I control yes. what I interact with, what I don't interact with. I control my reactions in a way as well, you know? Um, unfortunately, there is that societal pressure. I'm going to go off what just Beth just said, which is, you know, what, what, what in society is going to be deemed as functional versus like, you know, are you going to be a useful cog in the, in the machine? And oftentimes we can't be useful cogs, but we can be useful to ourselves in the way of like, okay, maybe I suck at being a business, uh, you know, person, but I'm really, really great at this thing and I'm going to do that thing and find a way to make money with that. Um, you know? Yeah. Uh, so it messed with me because, like, I saw okay. you still talking on the stream, and I was like, All right, I don't want to interrupt. No, 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 it's okay. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm catching my breath, and I'm <laughs> reading chat you. real quick. Uh, so. Bluefur said, I honestly don't think I've met someone with ADHD who didn't think they were stupid or dumb. Just being real. Uh, there's no cure, but there's always ways to cope better and better to the point where someone's folks may find themselves living a fairly normal life without too many barriers. Yeah, exactly. And especially if you've, I, I feel like with, with with you and how the way you do your content creation, you just kind of like. You, you embrace it. You embrace yourself. You oh, embrace your ADHD fully. And I actually fucking love that. It's organized chaos. Yeah. Organized chaos. Exactly. Like, no, I've, I, I fucking love that. And I'm I'm really proud of you that you found that way to have that outlet for ADHD and make it kind of like manageable and still work for your life, you know, and still manage to like live a relatively probably normal life. Yeah, I mean. Normal to you. I mean. I, I mean, fucking, you know, I get up at 8 a.m. So, I go and I repair printers and then like. <laughs> <laughs> when I come back and I stream and then I sleep and um sounds like a good life <laughs> that's kind of I want to I like I had I actually had stuff prepared for talking about like yep. how mental health is like affected me with streaming because go for it. when this is my only outlet like mm -hmm. I don't have IRL friends to go hang out with yeah this is my only thing I I just get to like I, I, I look forward to it every day. And that's mm -hmm. what kind of goes into that whole that's paranoia awesome. aspect is mm -hmm. that like when you look forward to something every day, it kind of becomes the thing that you live for. And I have nothing else going on in my life. I live in a garage. Like, like it's actually a garage. And, um, and, and I live down here. I sleep on that couch. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I take care of my mom. So like mm. my life is I go to work, I take my mom shopping because she's starting to get older and I want to keep her fresh and, 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 you know, and stuff. And I love my mom a lot. And, uh, and then I come and I stream and I, I always stream for like three hours and then I'm physically like worn out because I just get to unleash, I, I just get to un unleash it and be as weird as I want and as crazy as I want for three hours. And then after that, I just sit there and I wait for the cycle to read to continue I, I i hang out with people in voice chat until like 1 a.m and then i study until like 3 a.m and then i wake up at 8 a.m again and i don't even answer texts before the afternoon and and it's 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 weird because i almost feel like i stream full time but but i don't because i don't rely on this for income and I couldn't imagine like how that's why I commended you for wanting to do it full time because I couldn't imagine how stressful that would be having to rely on on viewership for income, considering how inconsistent viewership already is. I agree. You um, can meet somebody who watches you for like a month and then like another month they're just they're they're, they're just gone and it's like it's. I mean, it happens, and again, this is why I I cultivate a genuine supportive community that comes to my streams for me. You know, exactly. and even, even if, if someone like we knew for a long, long time has to go, it's usually because something in life is happening and we'll miss them fucking to tons to bits and pieces, you know, yeah, like, but we're going to miss them. <laughs> we're not missing them because like, oh, they gave me money. No, we're missing them because we missed them. We got to know them and they're amazing, yeah. you know, but it's life like, gets in the way and that's okay. I'm not yet at the, at the point where I can go completely full time with this. I would love to be, but we're going to get there. One, one new friendo, one new follower, one new family member at a time. You know, I'm very fortunate that I have a full-time job 
that I'm able to kind of sort of function in for the moment. Um, but I really do want to make content creation and mostly streaming my my full time. You know, I love doing this. It's so fun. I, uh, it's the greatest. It, it's easily like the greatest thing in my life and also the worst thing in my life, if that makes sense, because there's mm. like, all right, to everybody out there who doesn't stream and this is also going to going to jerk wob off a little bit. Is like, it? there's so much that goes into doing this. It yeah, might really it seem like I just get on here and, like, yell at you guys. And, you know, someone joins and goes, Hey, Jake, how are you going? I go, fuck you! But how are you? You know? But, like... But there's really a lot that, like, goes into <laughs> it. Like, I'm sorry, that's like Kanye West impression, by the way, because he said that to someone. But, like... Uh, but, like, oh, no, there's God. so much that, like, goes that's into great. it. There's, there's so much that, like... That take that that it takes out of you. It takes a yeah. lot of energy. It takes a lot of emotion. It's it, when I'm streaming. There's like 800 things going on in my stream at once. Did this new guy who came in here and just wanted to play the game with me is is he only joining because I'm playing like Terraria right now? And he's just gonna sit here and spam. Can I join? 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 And then he's gonna join and build a giant fucking swastika in the middle of our world, light the cross on fire, and like, become an actual clansman. Like clansman. <laughs> like oh my god, we Probably. we have those in real life here. We don't like them yeah but like yeah oh don't my God. need them in video games yeah exactly but yeah but it's like it's like or are they gonna join and actually like engage in the community and be fun and like and 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 want to hang out with me because this isn't like a show that i put on and no. that's part of what sucks same. about it same same it's, it's part of what sucks about it is that if people don't like you they don't like you they don't like me but i gotta have thick skin mm. Because not everyone's going to like me. Because my content isn't focused on the game I'm playing. And it leads to a little bit of like... You know, that hurts when when people... When people are like, I don't... I don't like you. Oh, you're just loud and annoying. Oh my god, why would anybody... That was what I used to get a lot. Back when, back when I didn't have the viewership I have yeah. now. Was the, wow, you're really fucking loud and annoying. Neck yourself. And I'd just be like, HA! God! <laughs> You know, because it's like, it's like, cool, dude. So pathetic, right? Like, do you yeah. have nothing better to do than just to hate on other people? I'm having fun. This is entertainment. Exactly. And it's entertainment for you. And it's my social life. Right. All right? This is why I play with trolls. Because I'm just, I'm just like, I just like, I just like go like. We, we had a dude. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Were you talking to me? Like, <laughs> Mr. Buttlicker came in and was like, yo, can you react to like this person? And we were literally just doing words on stream and stream raiders at the same time. And I was just like, I'm sorry, do you see anywhere in my title, my description, or anything that I'm reacting to content right now? The Are you good? S Are you in the same stream? Here, just, I need you to, can, can, I just need you to click that link right there. That'll take you to the same stream, <laughs> just to make sure we're watching the same content right now. Same person. Just join. The best troll I've ever gotten was named Pascal2000. I love this guy. I was playing, I was streaming Hollow Knight. And oh yeah, I, I think uh, I got him too. I had a bunch of people come in and tell me I looked like a cancer patient. Uh, because I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm pretty follically challenged, uh, which is why I haven't gotten a haircut in like a year or You're two. You're follically challenged? Are you kidding me? My hairline uh, is no. Do but, you um, see this? No, you have a glorious mane, all right? <laughs> you got that Widow Peak gang, you know? I just have Middle long hair that I keep take care of. Yeah. But, um... But yeah, no, they would like come in, they'd insult me, they'd be like, oh, well, you're really loud. And then Pascal hit me with the, uh, cause I had, I had like acne and I still kind of do. And he was like, wow, your head looks like the Modern Warfare 2 heartbeat sensor. And that was the greatest insult I ever got to the point where I was just like, you know what? Don't even ban him. I like this guy. He's funny. He's clever. Cause everyone else is telling me I look like a cancer patient. He's going to get creative about it. He's got a reference to Modern Warfare 2, which is a great game. And he took note of the shape of my forehead, which is shaped like the yeah, semicircle. It shows that of, he cares. Yeah, and, and the zits. I was like, that's amazing. And then he showed up to like eight other streams just to tell me I look really fuckable. And you know what? That's how you... That, you know that's how I'm you turn it. Right? This is the greatest enemy to lover story I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. But man, I can sit here and I can talk to you all day about this, but I know that Franco is, uh, is coming up, so I do want to actually talk about uh something more serious please um for the little bit of this i've talked a, i've i've tried to talk a little bit about how my adhd has helped me i've tried to discuss the paranoia 
I could talk to you about viewership and the the crushing vice that is Twitch. And can I? Yeah, no, I agree with you. I, Twitch is Twitch is designed to to crush yeah. you. Twitch is designed to like make you feel inferior to, to big streamers, etc. So forth. It's all bullshit. It's not that I'll be it's streaming for three years and then some other jagoff comes in and yeah. has like thirty average viewers and he's been yeah. streaming like a month, and I'm just like, okay, what am I doing wrong? But like, oh. Yeah, but yeah, I do uh, want to talk about something. Uh, honestly, Jake is looking pretty submissive and breedable today, my dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, have I... A, I, have a, I have a giant dump truck. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what were you saying? Uh, well, just one thing, which is, which is like, you know, something to help you, something to help tell yourself, is that not everyone's going to like you, and that's okay. Because they're missing out on all this, baby. I had to figure that one out the hard way. <laughs> you I know, think, I think they're missing out on all of this, all all of chat. Like, mm, I, chat, I chat, come here. Let me give you a little little pat, chat. There you go. They're missing out on you, chat. They're missing out on you. All right, I want ten thousand people in here eventually <laughs> to talk about mental health together. It but it's got to be a good ten thousand people <laughs> to figure it out. But like, I'm finally for the past few months, I've finally been like content. The streaming like the past five months i fucking and, love um, that for you dude seriously and and it's been a bumpy ride i've i've yeah. i've i have very it is and it's been my fault i've had public breakdowns and and stuff that's pushed people away i have absolutely Feel. attacked people in the past i have alienated mm -hmm. people from the community just because people, I don't know, people. The, you know yeah. like and it sucks and but it, but I didn't have a streamer to tell me not to do things and to tell me how to grow on twitch i didn't have support from mm -hmm. any other streamer who knew what they were doing. I'll give you any time, so any time. Like, Listen, Jake, my, my guy, like seriously, if you ever have any questions, anything, literally come to me, free, free advice, free. You. Fucking, I charge you free 99 for friendship, like seriously. <laughs> and the fact that you can admit that you hurt people before in the past, that's it's part of taking responsibility. And that's something that well, yeah, I look up to for There's other people problem, you gotta fix it no one else can fix yes, it yes exactly but um the thing that i want to talk about is i <laughs> hinted at it uh earlier earlier i wish that, i was fucking that game calm, the calm telling you look like game noodle <laughs> does that sometimes um <laughs> but uh it's the damage to my prefrontal cortex and, yes uh, i'm gonna lean in really close so you can sure, see sure. it but i have a scar right here it's wild yeah i see it it's and that's really. from a uh, 22 caliber handgun because I attempted Holy to take my own shit. life yeah. when I was about 11 years old. And I don't know jack shit about mental health. I don't know mm -hmm. shit about, about about being gay or trans mm -hmm. or racial stuff. I don't know anything about it. But I know that none of it matters. Because you're a person. Yeah. And you have a life. You were given life. And I might have to put the fucking sunglasses on, but, um, but I was an ass. I was a pathological liar and manipulator. I would, I was like American psycho, but instead of being an incredible character study, I was trying to actively fuck people over to be better. And, and then I shot myself and, um, I was very lucky. Because the round that I shot with my, myself with was a very old, old round. It was the only one I could get my hand on, or hands on. And a lot of the gunpowder had become all damp and soggy just from many, many years. We still have the bullet casing, and it's from, like, the 1900s. And it was not enough to entirely penetrate my skull. I have a single metal plate right here. Mm-hmm. And it lays pretty flat to my head, but I can feel a groove right there. And, um, yeah. And I spent a lot of time in the hospital because I couldn't move. I was paralyzed and I couldn't function because I basically just delivered myself into a nonverbal catatonic state. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that came back was my ability to open my eyes, followed by my right hand. And I started drawing and writing because that's all I could do. Because when you're sitting there like this, that's the only thing you can do is just draw and write. And then from there it became texting. I spent a lot of time on iFunny and Kick. 
and I um, and I was still an ass because I hated this world. I hated everything. I wanted to die because nothing makes you want to die more than surviving dying. Yeah. Because the realization that you have to spend the rest of your life living with that, living with that, is fucking horrible. Yeah. So it's gonna sound really weird when I say that if anyone's really hell bent on killing yourself, really think about it for a second. And this is gonna sound bad, but do you think you can really do the job, or do you think that you'll have to suffer? And the risk of having to suffer, I think, is enough to not not even attempt it. I think I think that the risk that you might not be able to kill yourself is enough to not even try it yeah. because i i've i faced death and it's pretty fucked up all right i'm not gonna pretend like i'm religious or whatever because i had people come to me and were like please please for the church tell us this for the, oh i'm God. sorry to talk about religion on stream but like and then i and then i had people no, you're who were like you who were like tell us your story tell us your story blah, blah, blah. and i could just sit there and write and i would just write and draw and then eventually I got my other hand and now I could stop fucking up my drawing and rotating the paper like when I needed to. And then I could text and I could, and, and, and then I had to change schools and everything. And everyone, I, I actually met somebody recently who knew me. Well, I didn't meet them. I knew them, but they only came into my life again recently. And they told me that everyone thought that I just had a dentist appointment and left school and then transferred or something. No one had any idea what happened to me. And of course not. And, and, it, and it's it. insane. Someone said I brought a hatchet to school and got expelled. Like, it, it, it was, it's wild. And and now look at me, look at what I can do. I can stand up and I can walk. And I can do like weird things with my hips and stuff. I'm sure I have to you go to the twerk. doctors. I, I have to go to the, <laughs> no, I can't actually. Uh. I have spinal issues. Uh. I have to go to the doctor like every other week uh, because if there's one thing I've learned about doctors, it's that, uh, it, it, it's that they're really fucking good at keeping you alive when you're not supposed to be. All right. That's true. And um, and I am not supposed to be alive to this day, but something kept me alive. All right. And as far as I'm concerned, I after I got done hating everything and wanting to die, I realized I wasn't going to die, and that the sheer fear of surviving another attempt was mm -hmm. enough to just stop it. So I started to figure out that maybe there's more to this shit. You mm -hmm. know. And that, and that I, I'm alive for a reason, all right? I, look at my face. It's not, well, it's a little deformed, you know. Like, you know this could be a little. Shut the like, fuck up, you cutie. <laughs> but like, I'm here for a reason, okay? Yeah. And I absolutely. would appreciate, I know that we joke about a lot of things in my community, but I would appreciate it if this sort of thing never comes up again, all right? Yeah, like, because it's, it, it's something that's off limits for me. It's the only thing that's off limits for me, suicide. Yeah. Because like, I'll joke about suicide's rapes, not something to, to to joke about anyway. And I'll joke about homosexuality. And I'll joke about nine eleven. And I'll joke about all these offensive things, right? Sure. Because humor isn't off limits. Yeah. But there's one thing that like, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, a little. It brings me back a little bit. I get a little choked up, you know. And, and you're allowed to cry. And then me and people are like, you know, I'll say it's another guy. I'm a fucking kill myself like as a joke and stuff but it's like when somebody comes to me and they're like it's been really nice knowing you jake but i think i'm gonna take my own life i i see that and i go no you're not because you came to somebody and told them that you were yeah and that's a cry for help yep and that happened the other day on you, stream actually and, and and i can tell the difference between uh give me attention because i'm gonna fucking do it or uh yeah. or um it's been a really, it's been a real pleasure knowing you. Yeah. I take that shit real seriously. And, um, and, and a lot of my community doesn't get to see me so serious about things. The most serious I get is when someone breaks rules in chat and then I have to shut the entire stream down and make, and, and make a point of them in front of the entire chat so they yeah. won't do it again. Because I find that the best way to stop people from breaking rules is, is to publicly ridicule them for it. Yeah. But like, it, it works really well and it's probably extremely toxic and unhealthy but they don't do it again but all i'm saying is that if you like drinking through a straw for three four years of your life then by all means you know 
go for it. Because, like, that's what I have to do. And, and, and again, now I've got a fucked up foundation. I, I have a hitch in my walk. I, I have nervous system damage. I have to go to the doctor all the time. My spine hurts. I have body aches. And, 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 and I've had like so many surgeries, I can't even count them on my hands. I had surgery on my turbomendicular joint about, what was that, a few months, like four or five months ago? Who was there for that? I played Don't Start Together when I was still hopped up on uh, anesthetic. Cause I just came home and was like, fuck, time to stream. <laughs> you know, cause, cause that's how much this shit means to me. This is all I really have anymore is, is my studies and you guys and this platform. And I'm insanely impressed that we haven't been banned off Twitch yet. Like it's, it, it, we're getting close. I imagine they, they banned a few of my emotes, but, um, but I want to thank Twitch for that. Because I, I criticize and ridicule your platform all the time for its inconsistencies. Why am I not allowed to have Ophelia's butt twerking as an emote when <laughs> when this chick that I watch has uh, a girl in a G-strings butt spreading the cheeks uh, as her emote? Because you watch her. Yeah, exactly. Along with the thousand other people, so that's why they keep her on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't sorry. mind. I don't mind the hot tub streamers. I think get get you bad girl, but like <laughs> Twitch be consistent, please also be consistent if you're gonna if you're gonna not ban somebody for sh spreading their ass cheeks and pussy on stream and then after public like outbreak uh or outrage come back and ban her for three days and don't even like lose her partnership then why would you perma ban a woman whose child showed up on her stream and they were underage to be on twitch yeah because fun fact you're not allowed to show anybody unattended on stream if they're under 13. That's right, Twitch. I know your terms and services. I've read through them so many times. We walk a very fine line on my stream, and I'm paranoid that we're going to break a rule. But all that I know is that I'm here for a reason, all right? And I don't know what that reason is, but the closest thing that i found to it is entertaining people. And I, god damn, I love doing it. So damn. back in the past when I would beg people to join my streams, push them away because they didn't. That was all just me trying to figure it out, trying to understand. Because I've been toxic to people because they don't want to join my streams. And I've, 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 I've ignored people because they've ignored my pleas to join a stream. And I've begged people and groveled so that, so that I could shape together a little bit of an audience. But I, I realize now that none of that fucking mattered. Because, because, because I was doing it for me, all right? I wanted friends. And again, volume by fire, I missed a billion of them, but I got a few, all right? And and you know what? I think I succeeded. I haven't made those mistakes I made in the past again. So I think that I'm doing it pretty well. And I'm glad you're learning from your mistakes. And, and can I, I just guess say... That that's not really about mental health now, is it? What do you mean? So it is. It's about streaming. It's about content creation. It's all, it's all related. Sure, um, so I know. What? I said shows what I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's All fine. Right. So, um, there's a lot. But thank you, first of all, for sharing your story. That was, I want to say brave, almost. <laughs> um, especially being raised in the kind of environment that you've been raised in. I'm sure talking about these kind of things. Is tough. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you yeah. right now, Georgia's amazing. Like, yeah, Georgia, you, you hear about like the racist South and stuff. Georgia's not like that. We're actually, we have a sure, but, uh, called Southern hospitality. Yeah, I, I meant more about like how like, you know, the man up shit and the oh, like, yeah. you know, mental health isn't real shit, right? Mm -hmm. um, thank you for sharing your story about your failed suicide attempt. And I'm very personally happy that you failed I know, I'm personally uh, happy that you're failed and I'm, I'm happy, happy that you're here today <laughs> right right it's the one time we'll be happy about failure right um we're happy that you sucked at it right um yeah. <laughs> but seriously thank you for sharing your story and, and you know never be afraid to cry or show your emotions or anything like that man like I've enough crying on stream they've seen it before that's it's all right just... and that's good embrace that shit <sighs> You know, it, it, it's a lot to own up to your own toxic behavior. It's a lot to own up to your own hurtful behavior towards others. 
And, you know, that's something that I look up to a lot and I respect you a lot more for that. Um, and I appreciate everything you do and I'll definitely be fucking checking out your stream sometime. Like, you know, well, shit. Well, I'm gonna be real honest with you, man, because I've always pride myself on honesty. I wasn't gonna follow you, dude. I, um, that's okay. Your stream has so much stuff that's like going on with it. With the oh, flag. I know. Flag. I don't even know what that one flag is. I see oh, it's, I, like, I, I understand. Flag. I have, I have but, way too like, much going on. But you know what, man? I'm going to, all right? Because like, I, I was kind of like, all right, this place seems a little like Weenie Hut Jr. and stuff. But I was wrong about that, all right? We can. I, mean, I, I, I was fucking wrong about that, okay? And I will be checking in because I've been in here a few times to try to figure out what's like going on and like, you know. But you're definitely on the side of good, all right? And I've seen so much like self-righteousness to know that you, you're not like that. You're, no. you're, you're truthful about this. Yeah. All right, so, and I want to thank you a lot for, um, fuck, this is the part where, where you're going to get me. Not me talking about my own shit, because, you know, I, whatever, I made it, but, like. Hey, I'm really proud of you for making me, it. You know, thank you for allowing me on here, all right? And thank you to Franklin Turks, because I wouldn't have found this if it weren't for him. I, I watch him all the time. I just never say anything in his chat. Franklin's cause, great. Because, like, I'm usually doing homework, I'm going to be honest, but, like, or at work, but, like. I don't get invited to do things like this ever because people see me and they go, Oh, he's a loose cannon. He's you, you commented and on my Twitch, my, my Twitter status. I invited you on. Yeah. But like, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get these opportunities. I don't get to like collab with people because the sort of people who want to collab with me are the people who want to take advantage of me for their own like growth. No. And, and that listen, that's why the first message I sent in the group was what it was, because I was literally like, I don't want to fucking gain anything falsely from this. All that's, right. If yeah. if your people see value in me and want to follow me, want to support me afterwards. Great. I'm not trying to steal no one's community because I know someone who literally does that and like begs people to like, oh, ping your discord seven times during the fucking podcast about talking about like stupid video games. And really, I'm just going to talk about my big dick like fuck off. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. I do these for a reason. And thank you for sharing your story, ultimately, is what thank I'm saying. Thank you for letting me, all right? Because, again, this isn't exactly a thing that I get to do a lot. I don't get to, I don't get to talk about this. I don't get to be on, like, interviews and things ever. I, I feel I feel important. You are important. And, your and story is you, important. Thank you guys for the uh, 37 uh, Discord pings. Um... <laughs> encouraging me I, I i genuinely appreciate that because i wasn't joking when i said that like wild our our community isn't one of those ones that's like vocally supportive they support yeah. me with their actions and um and like and that's kind of huge so thank you that's i uh, I'm, I'm running into franklin's time and i don't want to do that um but honestly if you're ever doing something like this again please Please seek me out, cause okay. I kind of I kind of want to do this more. I would love to have you on for Mental Health Monday sometime. All right, I uh, I actually stream on Mondays, so um, so maybe what I'll time? cancel that sometime. And I uh, two p.m. Eastern time. <laughs> I, uh, I yeah two p.m. Bruh, Monday, my stream my Monday my Monday streams start at seven p.m. and interviews are at eight. Oh well, there you go. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you but, again, um, Jake. Seriously. Thank you. You can just hang up on me whenever you want. Because right. if, if you don't, I'm going to keep talking. <laughs> I love you. Take care. Everyone go check out check out Jake from State Farm here. <laughs> Thank you. And All can right. we give a, a big round of applause to Franklin Turks, uh, our, our, next, yeah. our next goober on here? Yeah. All right. Bye, dude. See ya. Come catch Waba Live only on Twitch. All right. That was great. <laughs> that was great. That was did not go at, at all in the direction that I thought it was. I, I honestly am really happy that it went in the direction it did because I didn't really expect to um, hear a suicide story today. Um, but that's fine. That's where that's where Jake was at and that's where he needed to talk and that's great and I love that. And again, thank you, man. I appreciate you endlessly for agreeing to be on and you're amazing keep it going keep it going dude keep it going all right never give up never give up on you on your fucking dreams here all right anyway 
uh, we're gonna go to 